So the next the next thing on the discussion item, I put mission statement. And where we left off back in last February, I know it seems for forever, but February 2020, <laughs> Mr. Jacobs was given a presentation. He had the nice color-coded uh, thing where the words were the same and different, right. different examples yeah. we were using. And we were working on a mission statement. Now, I love that the board is helping, the, you know, we're having these thorough conversations. But I do think <laughs> now that, the, that we have gotten our legs under us with, the, with uh, the administration and the school operating with students uh, on campus and having the athletics and activities back up and running, I'd like to start having some of those discussions of things the board was working on. So I just put this on there for now, but I think this as a placeholder, like we probably should get back to discussing the mission statement. I think it would be good to have the updated mission statement complete before uh, the school board elections in April and have at least that piece of business uh, out of the way so that when that new board is seated in the spring, uh, those candidates in the board that are uh, candidates that still have two years on their term can then sit down and start looking at new district goals because that was the next step. First defining the mission and then getting back to uh, district goals. So I just put this on there as a placeholder to kind of, you know, tell the board, like I, I was talking with Mr. Smithing about this as we set the agenda, like we want to start getting back to, I mean, we're, we're not out of the pandemic, but I do think we're in a better place you know where we are today and that we can start getting back to some more focused board business next month also you'll get the financial projections those are going to be some there's going to be some things that you guys really need to start discussing and, and taking a hard look at the next three to five years that Kristen will be presenting uh, because we don't really know how bad the impact will be uh, from the pandemic I mean it might be something that we're dealing with for two three years after the fact uh, so I know at Kristen and uh, myself, uh, the Finance Advisory Council, Deanna and Wes, we've spent some time going through these and looking at different scenarios. You'll get those financial projections uh, at the February COW. You'll have a special ed report and a staffing report at the March meeting. And then when we get back from spring break, uh, at this, probably the second meeting in April, we'll have to seek the, the, the new candidates elected to the school board. So, I mean, we have some board business or some board matters that uh, we're going to really have to start diving into over the next three meetings. And so that was the purpose of me putting the mission. Is the board okay if we start getting back to some of the things we were doing pre-pandemic? Yes. Yeah. I seem to remember before pandemic took over um, that we were going to try and come a half hour or 45 minutes early to a meeting to kind of go over that mission statement, to you know talk about it. To write it together there you know you had it in the colors and to just finalize it to get anyone who wanted to come early did we want to do that maybe before the cow well i would think probably at the cow meeting we let tom kind of revisit the presentation he gave and kind of see where we're at because if we still if we feel like we're still far off and then we need to do another short workshop or a pre-meeting to work through that or if the board wants to appoint like a, a group to work with the superintendent on that we can uh, but like, I think probably just to re hash everything with everybody it might be a good idea for Tom to re-give us <coughs> a short, condensed version of his presentation next month just to kind of re where we where we left off I mean you're talking that's a full yeah, a that's year that's a good ago. idea yeah, I remember colors, but right. Yeah. And, and I, I'm impressed that you remember that much because honestly, I barely remember the colors. So, um, yes. Yeah, well, so there we were a few could... sentences. Deanna had a, a couple ideas, and then there were ideas that we had said that would come 45 minutes early to just discuss some of those words and sentences, and we thought we'd be able to get it done. Yeah, I'd love a review. Yeah. So, well, Start with a review. Are you okay with that, Tom? Would you be willing yeah. to do that again? Yeah, I'd be. And very you and I could touch base before the February cow. I think I have a copy of that. But if not, we can go through. Got to be in board book somewhere. No, totally, okay. but mm -hmm. I, I think my my thoughts might have evolved a bit, as I'm sure all of yours did. I mean, for me. What was so amazing is that we, you know, when you have a mission statement discussion, it's always a little, you know, thirty thousand feet, and you know, you're haggling about words. But the one thing we've, I think, almost all version included was some version of we live in a rapidly changing world. And here we are, you know, like this tsunami came over us with COVID-19. And what my hope is that by reengaging with the statement, 
that we also somehow find a way to get the broader community, all the stakeholders, especially the teachers and parents and whoever, right? There was one session that we had that was in this room. Right. That was an open invited thing. And it, for me, that was like the most valuable by far because we can finish our job, I have no doubt, and come up with a reasonable, you know, revi revised statement. But what a mission statement ultimately is there to hopefully guide you through are the, you know, like how much did that really help us over the last 12 months? I saw many other points that hopefully we find a way to talk about where we have to do better, like whether it's communication or just acting more in good faith on all sides. There's so much to talk about. So sorry for this is a long-winded answer nobody well, asked that, for. That's, but that's, 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 that's why I'm bringing it back up, because I think it starts with the mission stage. Yeah. yeah. And sure. the idea was to try to get that mission stage finished. And if you, if, you time, if you just kind of backwards map this, if we can somewhat finalize a mission statement, and then after the board elections, let that, that new group take that mission statement and start maybe do another community you know, meeting and start talking about goals and direction, because that was the next phase. It was supposed to be revise the mission statement, hash out some goals, and then maybe pull that group again together to show the community group, okay, here's the mission statement the board came up with based on the feedback he gave us at the first meeting. Here's a draft of some district goals, you know, and, and help set some direction with that stakeholder group. So, well, um, remember, Kevin, at all the training we've gone through, the job the board has, we hire a superintendent, we set the district goals. Yes, I'm just saying if, if they wanted to get community feedback on the direction for those goals, they could. we could have another session after that mission statement was written. So I think the mission statement gives us the direction on goals. We can, but then the board has to kind of do its job. I, can, I think it can get feedback after they come up with those goals, but I don't think it's the board's place to be saying, "Help us come up with goals." That that's what we're elected to do. Well, I think that I mean, and that, now we're, now I'm going down the rabbit hole with everyone else, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that document we got from that session included draft mission and some draft goals. So I think we've got a template for both, mm -hmm. is my recollection, but yes. Kevin, I think you're right. We need to dust it all off and, right. and kind of refresh. But I, I mean, I agree with Laura, but I do think some of the, a lot of the work has been done. It's about looking at it now through the lens of the last 12 months yeah. mm -hmm. and, and really understanding what it means for the, for the next and there, there multiple years. And there would be years. some benefit mm -hmm. of possibly pulling that stakeholder group again. I think there's been some changeover in some of those stakeholders that participated, but also mm -hmm. by having that group, they've all lived through that pandemic. Mm -hmm. And so kind of seeing, like, hey, we're setting these goals, but you know what we realize? Like, maybe there needs to be more of a focus on technology, or maybe there needs to be more of a focus on career readiness, or, you know, what, what are some things, like Tom brought up, like, you know, that, that came out, you know, for, for school's sake, with the exception of having a, a major catastrophe and having your school be closed because of some kind of weather disaster or something like that, this was a pretty extreme case of where a school had to like flip how they play school like on a drop of a dime, right? We talk about changing how we did graduation last year, trying to get kids back in the classroom, got kids back in the classroom, teachers having to refigure out how to teach. So I think, um, you know, by, by refocusing the mission statement, dusting off where we are with that template, and then as based on those discussions, maybe, maybe we do something again in the spring or the summer where we bring a small group together to get some more feedback. Um, it, it, it's never, it never hurts an elected board to make sure you're taking some time to get some feedback from the group, from the community and, and, and the group. So uh, you guys can, ha you have plenty of time to discuss this more and I think based on the discussions we're hearing, it'll be good to start with a refresher on the mission and start getting back into some of the things you were accomplishing as a board before the pandemic hit. That's all I'm trying to do is kind of bring us back to that. No, so I think that's exactly what we wanted to do, get back to the business. Of yeah, I'll just give you a time. I mean, we got <laughs> sidetracked for all the right reasons. 